today we will learn about field amplified polymorphic sequences assay so basically caps assay is based on rfl it is based on restriction fragments what exactly happens in caps assay amplified dna product gets cut by a restriction endonucleases and it gives various patterns so it is very much important with respect to genotyping we can use this particular assay what is the principle of assay basically it is the amplification of pcr product and digestion by a restriction enzyme gel secretion and visualization of restriction fragment length polymorphism that is restriction fragment length polymorphism of dna fragments which are get cut by a restriction enzyme now consider the example we are having homozygous and a heterozygous condition now a restriction enzyme cuts at two sides over here and you can see a band pattern of three fragments with respect to homozygous condition of db it cuts at these three sides and this is the band pattern now in a heterozygous condition it cuts at three sides in this particular fragment and two sides in this particular fragment band pattern differs you can see a uh, darker or band with more intensity and more intensity over here which is marked with star which come in this kind of pattern when heterozygous condition is there so restriction enzymes which are present are not able to identify a restriction site or a recognition site where we ca they can cut because that restriction site got damaged or abolished or created by snp or enders so this is a principle behind cleave amplified polymorphic sequences and this assay works on the basis of restriction enzyme so that was about caps and for more such videos please like share and subscribe and do let us know if you want us to make any such video thank you